Okay, it's gonna be another weird one today, but it's time for Chloe to finally get her medical degree. So the shoes are coming off. Oh, what are you doing with that broken glass, Chloe? This is probably not a good episode for anyone who doesn't like blood or anyone with a foot fetish. Oh, that hurts even just to look at. Okay, so this is how you level up first aid in Project Zomboid. You stand barefoot on glass, and you take tweezers and you pull the glass out of your foot. And since you're still standing on the glass, more shards go back in your foot right away, and you just rinse and repeat, getting experience every time you pull the glass out. Okay, so that was quick because we only needed to get uh, a little bit of a level to get to our next book level. So now we'll actually patch our feet up properly and we made sure we've got all the various medical textbooks we're going to need. And we've got a ton of medical supplies as well. Now infections don't kill you in Project Zomboid as far as I know, but we tend to disinfect the wounds anyway. And there's a difference between using a needle or using a uh, suture needle. But yeah, we've got tons of medical supplies, so we don't have to skimp on these things. So between bouts of, uh, let's say, medical training, you do need to get your health back up. So make sure you're eating well. We're going to head up to our fridge and see what we got. Okay, so we've got... Oh, rabbit meat's actually rotten. That's unusual for us. So some of our medical books are downstairs, but yeah, we should we have a full collection here. And I'm... Okay, so at all points, make sure you've read your book before jumping into your next level. Close a quick reader, which this is about to exhaust all the use of that talent. We have very few books that we haven't read at this point. Lots of food to keep that well-fed Moodle up though. You see our health is almost already back to full. Pretty sure I don't have to worry about getting bored while doing this. I suspect that the pain moodle will probably kill your boredom moodle. So that's a bonus. Okay, back to work. Shoes come off. I did try this with um, a shoe with a hole in one of the soles. Uh, it didn't work as well. I don't remember why. Okay, so every single time you pull the glass out, you get quite a sizable chunk of XP. As far as grinds go, this is actually one of the faster ones. There's one level already. Yep, health's not even at 60% yet. I mean, obviously, if you started with one level of first aid, this would just. You'd be getting it four times faster, so this would just explode. But even this is fast enough. Yep. Faster than tailoring, faster than mechanics. Way faster than maintenance, way faster than reloading. God, I'm sick of leveling those. Yep, yeah, so as long as we don't do something and get it, something stupid and get ourselves killed while doing this, um, it's, well, I was gonna use the word painless, but that might be a, that might be in poor taste. It is fast and it is straightforward. That'll do. Now we still haven't done anything about Chloe's smoking addiction. Maybe next year I'm going to have to do something about that. We're just not finding cigarettes fast enough these days. Yeah, let's get that well-fed Moodle and then go find a place to read our next book. Fog always looks pretty. So after we finish first aid off, I think we have maybe one electrical book we haven't read yet. And that will be the end of Chloe's fast learner. Uh, not fast learner, fast reader. Mm, it still hurts to look at.
Yeah, but the higher levels are no more difficult than the lower levels, so they take a little bit longer. Uh, long enough that, well, we might need to break. If I if the health gets under even 50%, I'll probably stop. So it may take two hits for these upper levels. But you could probably push through. I'm just overly cautious. Yes, yeah, so that's already getting a bit dicey. Hmm, how long do I leave this? Okay, there we go. Made it all the way through. I guess you probably... You probably wouldn't need to stitch the wounds up afterwards. I mean, uh, it might make the health go up faster. Uh, doesn't really hurt us much. Well, again, it probably does hurt us a lot, but tough. Chloe's getting her medical degree. I assume this is how doctors do it, you know. That's a tiny fish. Okay, as usual, gotta read one more book. Dog's gone. Actually, I was wrong before, we have some fishing books we haven't read as well. And at that point, we will have read all our books. Technically, the fast reader trade also lets you read like the literature books to get your happiness down. It lets you read those fast, but that's really not not a thing. Okay, Chloe, let's -a go. Ugh, uh. Uh. Still looks nasty. I try not to walk around it too much because it sounds really horrible too. Okay, health again is getting low enough that I'm really keeping an eye on it. You could probably push it you know, down to 20% or so without any real risk. But if, yeah, so we went over 50% and we only got one of the two levels, so I don't think I'll get the next level for that, so we may as well wait and do it in a second batch. Nasty. Nasty stuff. I'll have to clean this floor up afterwards as well. Or I just leave it on the floor for the, the hospital. The, the look of it, you know, blood-soaked hospital floor. Alright, so patch up the wounds, go eat, read another book. Although in this case we don't need to read another book because we didn't finish uh, volume four. We only got one of the two levels. So it's probably going to take us three more rounds of stepping on glass to finish seven. Oh, sorry, eight, nine, and ten. Why oh, are my light bulbs always broken? So I imagine we're a bit blood stained at this point. Okay, so I reckon this will probably get us down to 40% 40, 40 health. Yeah, it's past 50%. Yeah, it looks like about 40. Okay, so now we're ready for Master First Aid, or First Aid Volume 5, if you will. So yeah, in, in terms of um, time spent doing it, this does not take a great deal, and it doesn't require a lot of resources. Like obviously tailoring, you need a bunch of stuff. Mechanics takes ages. Uh, reloading or maintenance takes forever. Nimble, your child will be leveling up Nimble for you once you're dead and buried. Uh, this is fairly quick, and yeah, in terms of resources, tweezers help. 
Um, needle, you wouldn't want to do it without needle and thread, of course. Okay, last one. And there we go. Ow, 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 ow. Chloe now has her medical degree. 10 first aid. So that lets us see the severity of wounds. It lets the wounds heal faster. We don't really need it, but we've got it now. Uh, now, I, obviously, I prefer to think that she's been, you know, studying medical textbooks uh, throughout the nights, but this is how you grind it. So now you know. Okay, everybody. Like I said, definitely a weird one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Chloe's still got another month or two of downtime while she sits out winter. We have some more grinding and and building, and then we'll get back out and kill some zombies. But not for a while. Catch you then.